Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide showing an example of a craniopharyngioma edamantinometers type. On low magnification, we can see that this is very fragmented, and of course, this is because uh, of the root of surgery in such tumors. These tumors arise in the supracellar or the cellar region. They are thought to arise from Rathke's pouch, which is an evagination of the roof of the developing mouth. Therefore, the epithelium that forms these tumors resemble developing mouth structures such as the developing tooth. At low magnification, we can actually see that there are some pink areas and some bluer areas. Let's take a closer look. And these bluer areas represent large islands of stratified squamous epithelium. You'll notice that at the edge of these islands, the nuclei tend to line up in a very orderly fashion, and this is known as nuclear palisading. It's almost like they're all standing to attention. So there is peripheral nuclear palisading. Another feature you'll notice here is this whirl-like appearance. So there are cellular whirls as well. And very interestingly, towards the center of this squamous epithelium, you can see this kind of lacy appearance here again, and as we move around, again, we see at the center, there is this lacy appearance with a lot of spaces between the cells. This area is known as the stellate reticulum, and this stellate reticulum is seen in developing tooth enamel. This is because there's a lot of fluid in between the cells. Now let's look at the pink areas, and I'm just going to zoom here. These areas are actually formed from sheets of keratinized cells. However, the thing that is missing are the nuclei. So these are known as ghost cells. Um, sometimes you can actually almost see the little residual nuclei dropping off. And this type of keratin is known as wet keratin. This tumor also tends to sometimes form calcified areas or have calcifications. And you can see this reddish purplish um, chunk of calcified material here. Around it, there is some evidence of this fragmentation or fracturing. And this happens because it's very difficult to cut thin sections as we need to for histology um, when there is calcification in the tissue. Additionally, sometimes we also see cystic change and over here, there is a small area where there are some small intact cystic areas containing proteinaceous material. So in summary, we have multiple tissue fragments and they are composed of large sheets of squamous epithelium with peripheral nuclear palisading, with cellular walls, and with central stellate reticulum. And we also see areas of wet keratin. Therefore, all these features combined together are classical for edamantinometers type of craniopharyngioma. Most of these tumors are histologically benign. However, they may exert pressure effects or effects from invading into the surrounding brain tissue, and they may also cause endocrine abnormalities. Thank you.